Hi YouTubers, today I want to show you a small tutorial about uh, the DX and uh, changing the original sounds. Uh, the DX is an EPROM based uh, drum machine and uh, you can change the sounds by changing the EPROMs. But uh, you need an EPROM burner to put the sounds on it and uh, now I show you how it works. So, okay, at first I show you the Bartronic burner. It's a burner, usual burner, you can get it on uh, eBay. It's not uh, so expensive, I think I paid uh, 60 euros. It's like, um, yeah, around uh, 69 dollars. And uh, yeah, it's a really simple gadget. Uh, you, you can put EPROMs on it uh, with uh, 32 pins. And uh, in our case, we need uh, ETC EPROMs with uh, 28 pins. So, and this is uh, the software. Wait a moment. Yeah, the software Bartronics with a lot of different features. On the left side, you can see uh, yeah, the features to, to put data on the EEPROM or to read out the EEPROM or make uh, copies of uh, yeah, counting 10, 12 hundreds, you know. And uh, for us today is important only to write the EEPROMs. So to write a sound, here is, are my sounds. Um, it's uh, a list of Hyatt's. And uh, then we need uh, the, the other software, it's called um, Promenade. It's a small uh, software, you can get it from the internet also. Please Google for it or send me a message and uh, I will post the link to it. Yeah, okay. And um, here you can read, it is uh, Proma Eprom Utility. It's uh, also the software for the EEPROM from Oberheim and uh, you can use this uh, gadget also for um, burning the EEPROMs. You can sample directly um, into it and uh, then convert it and uh, then you can burn it, but it's too much. It, it costs about $700 and it's really raw to find. So. Um, but you can use this software only on your computer. It's, uh, for me, it is only important for converting my WAF sounds into binary data because you need it for burning uh, the EEPROMs. It's the binary code, okay? So, and now I would like to show you how it works. So at first I put my sound I want uh, to listen for like that or this one or the normal. Okay, I take this one, put it here inside drag and drop and then I've got a sound. It sounds different to the original one. But the thing is it's 8-bit on the EEPROMs and uh, the sound here is um, sounds a little bit like um, yeah, uh, low down, but it's no problem. In the inside of the DX, uh, you can change on the back side this this small knobs, and uh, then you can uh, yeah you you can fix the sound by doing this. You know, so then it's going in your octave uh, um, higher or lower, or I don't know how you call it. So please for, uh, forgive me my my bad English. But I think the words are enough to, to explain all the things. Okay, so then we got this one. And uh, now we have to open the Oberheim. You can see here is one screw and here is another one. I open it already and then we lift up the top of it. And then you can see here are the sounds into it. Today you have to be very careful with these chips because uh, you can damage the pins by, by lift up the, the EEPROMs and uh, today I've got the problem that uh, I killed two of them but it's no problem 
the machine is working without these two uh, it is but um, um, there is no sound in this this uh, this area okay but for the other things um, you can see here are the the e prompts I uh, program it um, or burn it uh, already to show you it um, so it's really it's really um, important to be careful to put them out I lay them really soft on it yeah and uh, with a little press a little bit so this is enough and then it's working okay but it is not nothing for transport the the dx um, otherwise it, it fell out and um, yeah and damaged all the the other things on the board so f f then if you have to transport it so push it into the socket um, so today on eBay I get this um, 28 pin um, socket is look look like like this this here wait you can put the EEPROM in and then close it by, by doing it like like this way okay and this I would like to to put on it here and it's enough space to do that and later on I can open it really easy okay but for explain first we need the sound convert it okay and then save save file I've got here you can see WAV files but we need the binary files and there are already sounds that I converted before okay so then save and that's all and then we have to go in the software start the software and uh, looking for the right chip and uh, there is a auto um, an auto knob but uh, here he can't find the, the, the right chip and uh, so you have to look manually and uh, I've got all the data um, from the ship himself and so then it was easy to find out uh, which number or which kind of, of EPROM it is so and then you open uh, the folder where the sound is in it okay so then I chose this one and then you can read it here SN stands for sna snare okay and then you the only thing what you have to do is put the uh, the EEPROM I took it out put it in the inside of this one and then burn but stop I forget something at first when you took out this this EEPROMs you have to burn the, uh, you have to clear them so that means uh, erase them okay so because in the middle of this uh, this one there is a window a small window with a chip on it and it's an uh, UV um, based chip close it turn on I think uh, two minutes is, is enough and then it's erased there is no sound no data on it and then we put it in the right direction then close and then we have to push this button and then the sound will be burnt on the apron after that took it out put it in the socket a little bit not too much okay this fits close the top then you can start the machine and uh, now we want to look if it's okay there's no sound but now okay That's all.